Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the lightsaber effect in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so before we start the tutorial, uh, we're going to want to go and follow the first link in the description. It'll take you to Video Copilot. Um, they are the ones that created this uh, awesome plugin for After Effects. Scroll down and you'll see download for Windows, download for Apple. I'm going to be downloading for Windows. Saber installer uh, is going to have a zip for you. Uh, let's extract to desktop that works. Our desktop. Alright, let's see. So now it's down here. Click on the installer. Publisher unknown. Uh, yes, it's, it's safe, don't worry. Uh, we're going to want to go next. Saber for After Effects installer. Next. Uh, if you're running Adobe CC, just click Next. If you have uh, Adobe CC 2014 or later, I'm going to click Adobe Plugin Path. Find Adobe uh, After Effects. Now I have the CC 2014 support files, plugins, and then select folder. So then that will be download it into that folder and it should work with your After Effects but since I don't have, I'm not using that, just uh, I'm using CC2015 we're gonna go ahead, next um, Saber for After Effects is successfully installed, finish and there we go, now we'll open up After Effects and let's make sure it is there it's gonna be over here Let's see, let's see, Video Copilot, Saber, there we go. All right, let's uh, start the tutorial. Uh, we're gonna go up to File, Import File, Import File. We're gonna go Lightsaber Tutorial Footage, bring that in. Uh, drag that into the new composition button down here. Fit up to 100%. And as you can see, we have our Jedi guy kind of walking around and pulls out his lightsaber, do some crazy tricks, and then puts it puts it away. So yeah, uh, now we are going to show you guys how to do the lightsaber effect. Um, go up to Layer, New Layer, Solid. Make sure it's black. That's important. Uh, go over to Effects and Presets. Type in Saber. Grab this guy over here and drop it on top of the black solid. Oh, there's our lightsaber. Uh, go uh, over to this drop down box. As you can see, it's on a black background. Uh, we don't want that. We're going to go over to this drop down box and select screen instead of normal. And now you can see the lightsaber is on top of the footage. So we're going to find the frame, or the first frame that his lightsaber is actually ignited fully. All right. We're going to bring the lightsaber blade effect over the. Uh, the lightsaber blade, I suppose. Zoom in here, make sure it's all lined up. As you can see, obviously, um, it's, a, it's a little small, so we're gonna go over to the settings over here, customize core, um, well actually we're gonna go over to custom core size, increase the core size uh, a decent amount, uh, and under customize core, we're gonna increase the start size to 25, and the end size to 25. So that means we'll also have to increase the core size. That will come to play later. Um, but I'm just I'm just getting all of the settings ready, so we can start uh, kind of animating this, the lightsaber effect. Uh, as you can see, the start size doesn't really line up. So we're or sorry, the end like the start the roundness of the blade doesn't really line up with the hilt. So over here in the start roundness, we're going to decrease the start roundness a bit, maybe a little bit more, uh, and then kind of pull that down over there. And as you can see, the lightsaber is very kind of sharp. The it just looks like a white block almost with a little bit of a glue uh, glow. So over here down in core softness, we're going to increase that to about let's say six point five. That six point five is good. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, let's go up over to the glow settings up here. Let's uh, increase the glow bias a bit. 
um, and decrease the glow spread. There we go. Um, we might want to decrease the core softness a bit. Uh, all right, that's that. That looks pretty good. So now we have uh, the lightsaber. It's looking pretty good. Uh, let's dec or increase the end roundness a tad. It, it's all perf personal preference, I suppose. So yeah, so here we have the lightsaber. Um, and as you can see, we go to the next frame. The blade is still on this frame um, where it was before. So. We're going to go back to that frame and go down to the black solid, hit this little drop down box, go to effects, saber. We're going to hit this little stopwatch uh, next to core size, core start, core end. And then we're going to hit the drop down box next to co customize core. We're going to hit the stopwatch for start size, start roundness, end size, and end roundness. And we're going to also want to select all these keyframes right click and then select toggle hold keyframes that just makes it so we're at this keyframe next keyframe we move it oh one little quick thing we're going to want to turn uh, in render settings we're going to want to turn off motion blur because I just it's personal again personal preference but I just think it looks a little messy uh, let's let's see what it looks like turned on again hold on one sec See, that doesn't, I've never seen a lightsaber look like that in my life, so let's turn that off. Um, but yeah, see, I, I have moved it to the next position, and as you can see, um, it follows the blade. Um, I did, I, I made these keyframes down here, uh, and I did say that that motion blur didn't look good, uh, but I have a way around it and making it kind of look a little bit better. Uh, earlier, when I decreased the start size and end size, that was so I could create kind of some some motion blur uh, as I animate. So we're gonna want to go to over to end size because um, he does move the blade quite a bit um, from this from this frame to this frame. So we're gonna go to end size and increase the end size, not too much because it's just kind of starting off the motion blur. But we're also going to want to decrease the end roundness. Okay, line that up. And we can see some motion blur starting. So yeah, this next frame, he moves it quite a bit more. So we're just going to want to follow the lightsaber. Um, and we'll increase the end size a bit. So the end roundness, we're going to increase that so it kind of, uh, oh sorry, start roundness so it kind of lines up with the hilt. Um, I kind of like doing this manually every frame, I kind of adjust it to how I like it. Uh, and we're going to increase the end size a bit more just to to continue this motion blur that we got going on here. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. And we're just going to continue and follow on to the next frame. So, bring it over here. Um, we can increase the end size a bit. There we Well, that's a lot. Uh, we'll just keep it similar. Um, uh, line it up. Decrease, decrease the start size a bit. Uh, um. So yeah, I think that's looking pretty good so far. As you can see, he moves it quite a bit over this way. So we'll bring it down. Kind of line it up again. Bang. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's see what it looks like with the end size increased a bit. I think that'll look good. Again, it's all personal preference, though. So, yeah. So, so let's go to the next frame, and we're gonna de uh, gonna decrease this this end size quite a bit because there's not a lot of motion blur going on here. 
Gonna line that up. We're gonna increase the end size a bit and kind of line it up this way. But yeah, so what I think I'm gonna do is just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep going with this and I will be back once I am finished. Okay, so as you can see, we've gotten to the point where he has kind of, where, where the actual lightsaber is, I've removed the lightsaber, and uh, this would be the part where it kind of goes back into the hilt. So what I do is just, I don't know, it's pretty simple, kind of self-explanatory, just slowly animate it going back into the hilt. And it's a lightsaber, so it's not, it'll move pretty quickly. Um, this should be the last frame. Alright. That. Look at that. There we go. We can also do the beginning part. So we'll move it. Grab it. Have it ignite. There we go. Back. That looks pretty good. So that's gonna be it. Uh, we can change it up here, glow color, um, or if you want to make it, ooh, let's make it purple. Um, yeah. So I think that looks pretty cool. I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful. Uh, next uh, tutorial, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. Oh. But uh, there will be a Kylo Ren lightsaber tutorial coming soon. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, thank you so much for watching.